The search this morning is still on for two oil workers missing after a disastrous explosion and fire that ripped through a Gulf oil rig. 11 workers are injured and ABC's John Shriven is in New Orleans with the very latest. John, what do we know? Well, Bianca, good morning. We know that the Coast Guard launched the chopper just a short while ago uh, to resume the search from the air. All night they've been out in boats just like this one using night vision goggles and infrared technology. So far, there's been no sign of the two missing workers, but the Coast Guard is using the latest technology to find them before it's too late. It's an all-out effort from the Coast Guard's unit in the air and the sea to find the two oil platform workers who have now been missing for close to 24 hours. Authorities have not revealed their names or even genders, but believe they are out there, somewhere in the massive Gulf of Mexico, alive. The two disappeared Friday morning after jumping into the water off the coast of Louisiana when the oil platform they were working on suddenly exploded. The blast was so intense, black smoke billowed more than 1,000 feet into the air and could be seen 20 miles away on shore. Black Elk Energy, the Houston-based company who owns the platform, says one of the 22 contractors on board improperly used a blowtorch to cut the pipeline, igniting the explosion. 11 workers were injured, medevac to safety, four with severe burns. We treat our contractors as part of that family, so when there's an incident, um, it, it hurts. As far as the oil spill, the Coast Guard says the impact is minimal, because the rig was shut down at the time. The environmental threat, as we know, there was 28 gallons that potentially were in that three inch line, 75 feet long, which would equate to approximately 28 gallons of product. Not even enough to fill a large SUV's gas tank. In comparison, BP's Deepwater Horizon disaster two and a half years ago spilled enough daily to fill the gas tanks of 82,000 SUVs. And just a few hours ago, two more boats, actually double this size, arrived on the scene to help with the search, which is now about a 40 by 35 mile radius around that platform. Now, the Coast Guard says the good news, the weather has been cooperating. There are no storms in sight, so they do have a clear line of vision. Hopefully, these two workers will be found soon.